Welcome to Fisher Toolbox Talks training video. In this session, we will be demonstrating correct installation procedures of deformation control anchor Fisher EA2. These are called drop-in anchors, hammerset anchor, and also sometimes wedge anchors. It's available in different sizes, M6 up to M20, and available in zinc plated or stainless steel finish. It's of course ETA approved. We do have ETA approval for multiple use, non-structural applications, redundant applications, and also some sizes have ETA option seven approval. It also benefits from uh, fire uh, assessment. We do have fire rating up to two hours. We offer also shorter EA2 25 millimeter, which is fantastic uh, version, especially if you have jobs where you have reduction on drill hole depths. Uh, this will be the perfect option uh, because uh, then you are avoiding hitting reinforcement. You can use a special drill stop, which will make sure you are not drilling more than 27 millimeters. So that's perfect for jobs where you have, for example, dense reinforcement or you have the concrete with pre-tension bias. It also is approved for precast hollow floor slabs uh, for web thickness 35 millimeter and more. And also with this uh, reduced embedment, you will be also benefiting from savings on installation time. Before you do any installation, make sure you have the correct anchor, which was specified for the job. In this case, uh, here we have calculation with dropping anchor 10 by 40. These products very often are used in applications like MEP connections in fire escape route or fixing sprinkler system. In that case, make sure you do the correct design, taking into account the different loadings and the fire exposure. These can be very different uh, to loading published in a catalog. Before you commence an installation, make sure you have correct installation accessories. These are specified on a box. So you have a list of correct drill bits, setting tools, and other installation instructions, clearly specified, including article numbers, so easy for ordering purposes. So before any installation, make sure you have correct PPE. First step of correct installation is drilling. Make sure you have PGM quality mark, so your hole is of correct tolerances. Also double check the, the drill is not worn, so check the worn mark on a drill. Regarding the drilling hole position, also this fixing, because it's expansion fixing, you need to comply with minimum edge distances, which are specified in a catalog website. Uh, with this uh, fixing 10 by 30, the minimum allowable edge distance is 140 millimeters. So make sure you are not putting fixing closer to the edge than this. Regarding the drill hole depths, uh, it is specified on a box. So for this anchor, the minimum drill hole depth is 33 millimeters. So the next step is cleaning of the hole. With uh, Fisher blowout pump, we have this useful cup, which will prevent the dust going straight to the installer and it will deflect the dust uh, back to the surface of the concrete. Then fixing is inserted. And now we have to set the fixing using the correct setting tool. For that, you will need also the club hammer. The fixing is set correctly when you have the marking on the rim of the fixing, so-called witness mark. Setting tool has this imprint and that will mark the lip of the anchor and will create so-called witness marks. So afterwards, you can double check where the fixing has been set correctly, like in this case. If you want to reduce hammering, you can set the anchor also using SDS setting tool EMS. Just remember, this setting tool will not create witness mark. And when the fixing is set correctly, you will connect your either M10 drop rod, observe a minimum and maximum insertion depth, which is between 10 and 14 millimeters. And if you are clamping the bracket fixture with your M10 bolt, make sure you apply correct installation torque, which is eight Newton meters. 
So as a quick summary, before you start, make sure you have the correct anchor specified. You are drilling with a correct uh, drill bit, PGA marked, check the wear mark. Make sure you have the correct installation tools as specified on a box. Drill to the correct drill hole diameter and depth. Clean a hole, use the correct setting tool. Also make sure you have the witness mark on anchor and the fixing is set correctly. Then connect either using M10 drop rod observe minimum, maximum insertion depths. And if you are fixing a fixture, make sure you apply correct installation torque of eight Newton meters. And for any further details, feel free to contact Fisher Technical Helpline on 01491 827 920. Go to our website, www.fisher.co.uk or download Fisher Professional app. Thank you for watching.